All right, today I'm gonna to be going over how to transfer files into your TI Inspire CX uh, calculator without the need to buy this. So this is the TI Inspire CX student software. And with this, what you need to do is you need to purchase it. A lot of people, you know, buy their calculators online or whatnot, so they don't have a serial number to activate it. A license number so what what's cool about this you know Texas Instruments gives you a 30-day trial so you want to start this program first now I know there's things online about transferring um, PDFs into your calculator but you have to be on a certain version a lot of people might have updated to a latest version and just in general to me the PDF seems a little bit uh, difficult because you need to download other programs and whatnot um, I would say do it this way this is a lot easier so when you just click right here you can just click add notes and let's say you need to write stuff so I've already written some stuff right here this is some stuff I need to be transferring so I'm just gonna copy the problem so actually I'm gonna go to edit paste so that's my problem press enter and let's say this problem comes with an image so or let's say the solutions or whatever you want to do you know it comes with with something so Windows 10 itself has this program called snipping tools and what it does is it lets you capture an image uh, in JPEG uh, format so what I'm gonna do is I am going to let's just so it's clear I am going to take this part of the image I'm going to save it call it GTR desktop so now it's saved on the desktop and how I put it in here once I'm on the next line I'm just gonna go insert image I'm already on my desktop so I'm gonna find that or actually it saves it in PNG so I'm gonna find that file open it and as you can see it uh, fits it right on you can also you know do this so what it does is it saves it and I can keep going and writing stuff onto this document so after I'm done writing this and I'm ready to transfer it onto my calculator I'll go to file save as I'll save it as that and as you can see the file type is going to be .tns so that's the file type that will be accepted by your TI Inspire CX um, I'm going to save it onto my desktop and then you'll see that it's right here now so this is the file that we're going to be transferring so I'm done with this so you can do all sorts of stuff as you can see you can do everything with it I'm going to close that and then I'm going to open this other program called TI Inspire Computer Link so as you can see, the calculator must be connected. So I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna be connected. It open, but let's let's open it up, and you'll get after you install this program, you're gonna go through, and this thing will pop up. So this will show you your handheld device. So as you can see, it's not showing up. So it means that it's not connected. So my cable is a little bit flimsy, so you want to make sure you have a good cable, otherwise it's not going to connect. You're just going to keep refreshing and then you're going to see your device. So then you select your device and what you'll see is at the bottom is what's inside your device and at the top is your desktop. So I will under documents. Um, you can right click you can create a new folder so I'll just call this that just to show you and now I'm in that folder so then I'm gonna go on to my desktop where I save that image I'm gonna look for that image so this is alphabetical so I just find the PNG actually I need to find the dot TNS file I right click I copy I come down here under that folder I right click I paste As you can see it does that and you'll see 
on the calculator, it says it transferred. I right click, I copy, I come down here, under that folder, I right click, I paste. As you can see, it does that. And you'll see on the calculator, it says it transferred. Now onto the calculator. So once you do that, you press OK. You can easily just go to My Documents. It's gonna load it. I created a folder. And then I click on that .tns file. And it will load. And as you can see, voila. I have my word and I have my image to go with it. So that's the easiest way that I found where you can transfer stuff in between your TI Inspire and the computer. So hope this helps.